here is a quick look at the new split brake rules. Let's imagine that the driver starts their shift at 12 o'clock at night, goes on duty for an hour, drives for the next six hours, goes to an off-duty status for three hours, back on uh, to the on-duty status for two hours, drives for five more, takes the rest of the day and sleeper for seven hours. Under, under a typical situation, um, the 14 hour shift would run out at 2 p.m. and everything after would be a violation, not under the new split break rules. What the rule says is that the first break that is longer than two hours can be subtracted from the 14 hour shift. So let's take a look at our situation again. The first off duty break in this scenario is longer than two hours, three hours to be exact. That means we can subtract this from the 14 hour shift and we can add the three hours to here, which gives us 17 hours instead of 14. 17 plus seven is 24. And that's what I wanna leave you with is that the easiest thing to think about this is to look at a 24 hour period since the beginning of the shift. And please keep in mind that seven and three gives you 10 hours of a minimum break required. Keep in mind that this rule is new for everyone, including DOT officers. So be patient and good luck.